Hey everyone, it's Ryan and welcome to this week's news video. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan and every Saturday I go over what has happened at the Disney parks the past week. On this week's video, we have some pretty exciting news. Disney has announced that Festival of the Lion King will be returning to the Animal Kingdom this summer. The show will be presented in a modified format so they can perform the show safely. There will be adjustments to the show on stage and backstage including updates to the choreography so everyone can be socially distanced. There will also be changes on how guests are seated in line with other theater-based experiences around the resort. I am really excited to hear that they will be returning so all the cast members can get back to their jobs and it sounds like this is just the beginning of Disney bringing back more performers and other shows. They haven't released an exact date on when we can expect to see the show return but as soon as I hear anything I'll be sure to let you know. And on January 18th part of the new Rad 2 expansion was open to guests. We had seen the construction walls at the entrance had been replaced with a movable hedge and on January 18th the hedges were gone and you can enter up to where the new bathrooms are and I gotta say the area looks beautiful especially with Skyliner passing overhead and they also have these really nice murals and the land looks pretty awesome and I think it will be a awesome expansion to the France Pavilion and I can't wait for the rest of it to open up like the new ride and the crepery I definitely cannot wait really excited for this expansion. Now back to Disney Springs Kipling will be closing permanently sometime this weekend. The store sells designer luggage and bags that you could get customized with keychains, pins, patches, zipper pulls, and their famous monkey fobs. Although it is sad to see another store close, we are getting new places like Gideon's Bakehouse, Fit to Run, which have already opened, and the M&M store, which is getting closer to being finished, and we should see that opening up pretty soon. And speaking of the M&M store, construction on that is coming along on the outside. Giant M&Ms have appeared on the side of the building, and it looks like they're going to be adding some more, because there's plenty of room. I was actually at Disney Springs in December to do the Christmas tree stroll, and they were still working on the outside. They didn't have that bright yellow wall and the red M&M sign they have now. So it's, it's amazing to me how fast they can work. Uh, the store is expected to open sometime this spring and it will be the fifth store location that exists in the, the world, which is pretty cool. Now over in the Magic Kingdom, the Hall of Presidents closed on January 20th so Disney can add the new President Joe Biden animatronic to the attraction and the Hall of Presidents is set to reopen on April 3rd. Right now at Planet Hollywood, they are offering a really good deal for Florida residents. Kids can eat free with every adult purchase until February 28th. This is available Sunday through Thursdays. Any kids 10 and under can eat free and the meals include an entree, drink, and a dessert. So all you have to do is make sure you mention the deal when you are ordering and make sure you also bring your Florida ID and you'll be all good to go. And now the last thing we're going to be talking about is still in Disney Springs and it is the King Dog Hot Dog. So if you follow Disney Parks on TikTok, you might I've heard about this new secret menu at the Hot Diggity Dog food truck in Disney Springs. So like I said, it's called the King Dog and it's a pretty crazy hot dog. It's an all beef hot dog in a French toast batter dipped in cereal crusted bun topped with a spicy peanut butter spread, banana honey mustard, chipotle berry preserves, and pieces of billionaire's bacon. I know it sounds like it would be disgusting, but so far what I've heard, people actually like it and the flavors actually go pretty well together. Now, if you are interested in trying this hot dog, here's how you can get it right now. The King Dog is available at the Hot Diggity Dog food truck at the West Side Disney Springs, where the food trucks are, and they'll be open from 6 p.m. to closing. To order it, you have to say a secret phrase, because of course, it's a secret. Although, can it even be called a secret when it's all over TikTok and I'm telling you about it? But anyway, the phrase is hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Also, side note, you might have to sing it. I'm not sure because I've heard it both ways that you can just either say the secret phrase or that you have to sing it, but most likely you could probably get it either way. Now, the hot dog costs $11.75 and is available until January 25th. But don't worry, if you're like me and can't make it to Disney Springs by then, then don't worry because after the 25th, it'll be available to the general public and you don't have to say the secret phrase or anything according to Disney's TikTok. So it sounds like, you know, there will still be plenty of time if you really want to try it. I'm kind of interested in trying it, so, but we'll see what happens, and especially if it's still available after the 25th. So that's all the news I have for you this week week. Let me know what you think about everything that has happened. A lot is coming and going and it, as time goes on we can expect to hear more stuff returning to the parks. So make sure you are subscribed and you turn that bell on so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. I try to post a video like this every Saturday. This has been Ryan. I hope you have a good day and I will see you later.